Welcome back, everybody, to the Super Awesome Video Game Show. Here on Rage Select, I'm Jeff. And I'm John. And we're playing On Onimusha. O Onikira. Uh, Onikira. We're playing Oni, the bungee no, game. No, no uh, Onikira. We're playing... Uh, Oni Kira. Okay, yeah. well, uh, and what is this, John? This is an you early this... access game. Okay. It just popped up on early access a, a few days before we're actually playing this. Okay, I'm going um, to press the start button. Yeah, go ahead and press the press start. start. So I'm going to press start. Yeah, go ahead and press start. Okay. Uh, and it, it's it's kind of cool. I mean, it's... Uh, full screen. Okay, not a whole lot there. Yeah, there's not a lot of options All right. uh, at the moment. But uh, let's go to new game. Okay. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's basically a side-scrolling kind of beat-em-up style game, uh, which is... Uh, you know, we're going to get a little bit of a story here. Uh, but it's just kind of a, a side-scrolling beat-em-up style game. It kind of reminds me of a 2D uh, 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 Devil May Cry. Or, or what, what was that uh, one by the guy who made uh, uh, the Dishwasher series? Uh, it was Xbox. Oh, Dishwasher Smile? Yeah, Dishwasher Smile or whatever it was. Okay. Uh, those games uh, kind of are the same thing where it's a lot of juggling, a lot of combos, a lot of... Okay. You know, you get graded on how well you do. Okay. There is uh, no voiceover, in case you're wondering. Began with the Emperor. He's driven lust mad for power. He turned his arm into a dragon. Yeah, essentially, to give you the, the rundown, mm -hmm. there were dragons. Right. And this guy figured out how to bind a dragon with his soul. He's charging up to and over 9,000. became super powerful, and the dragon died in the process. Okay. Uh, and then uh, he became so powerful that no one could best him. Right. So he turned into a lady. Well, so another dragon bound herself with another human to stop him, and okay. then all the dragons left. Okay. Because wh why? Because the, the, he was too powerful. Oh, okay. Um, and so to defeat him, what they actually did is that instead of killing him, they trapped, they basically pulled him into a dimension into the afterlife and sealed him there. Okay. And it, it's he's basically trying to break out of hell or the afterlife. To He's trying to break into the real world to to conquer again. Okay. And you are a completely new character who is alive and well oh. in the real world, and you have to stop the oncoming apocalypse. onslaught, apocalypse. Essentially, that's occurring because of this. Okay. So, yeah, I remember I saw this, and when I, I saw this uh, float through my Steam library, and the first thing that I thought was um, uh, that clay game that we played. Yeah. Shadow, Mark, okay, what's going on here? Why uh, give is... it a second. Yeah, g give it a second. It's okay. got a... Vile sounding scream. Aren't all scream? Well, I guess you know if you're having a good yeah. time. Uh, I will say the one thing I don't ha I don't like about this game so far is the is auto the, spacing where it makes uh, those weird spaces on the text. No, is the bat the demons? Uh, their voices. Um, okay, am I doing something wrong, or is it is it this is it is it was this is choppy when you played it before we started? It seems like it's a l just a little like the frame rate is kind of garbage. Well, it's because it's it's trying to do menus to tell you how to do everything. Okay. And your e right you know, bumper. Okay, so you got a dash, you got to attack, and then launch air launch. And right. Then, then yeah. you use ebony and ivory to keep them up in the air. Whoa. Kind of. Whoa. So you juggle. Okay. Yeah, you do juggling and you get graded on how well you do. Uh, D. Type thing. Oh come on, that was way better than that. Well, no, you're you're still it, it it like does it till like the next checkpoint kind of thing. Okay, so or, so far, I'm gonna need some more attacks, John. <laughs> yeah, and, and you'll get more. Bwah! All right, you'll also get other weapons as well as the game goes on. Um, the one thing I don't like is that we can't really hear it because the volume's turned down a little bit. But uh, well, no, no, I'm just saying my biggest problem with this game is that the demons, the noise they make, uh -huh. sounds they sound like gar uh, growling dogs or dogs yelping. Okay. So it, it sounds like you're beating up. If you're not watching the game, it sounds like you're beating up like animals. Oh yeah, it sure does. I can hear that now. Oop. And it, it like it, it that annoys me <laughs> right. a little bit. You're right. Nobody wants to be beating up animals. Well, I mean, I guess some people do, like sociopaths and yeah. that guy from True Detective and stuff like that. Yeah. But. Bam! Bam! Okay, I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of, like, giant upgrade tree that we're going to get to. Um, not so much an upgrade tree, but definitely uh, you'll get more weapons where you actually can do more combos and do different things with different weapons. Like, that right there mm -hmm. is going to be a, an upgrade that you'll be able to do. Okay. Weapon unlock! Comma blades. So left, left trigger. trigger and then B does a grapple and then left trigger and A in air does an air dash. Okay. So basically to switch the weapon you hold down the left trigger. You can still do regular attacks and 
Okay, that's kind of like that. Kind of reminds me of the uh, of the Devil May Cry, the DMC. Okay, yeah. The way that it had like the kind of hold down one trigger for one style of attack, uh, and then okay, so we got these are fast light attacks. Yeah. And then you can also do a thing where you can grapple from a distance. Uh, Ooh, nice. Do that spin again. That was awesome. Bam. Okay, so if you're at a distance and you hit it, then you can, oh, okay, you can spin up to him. Yeah, and you can also nice. do it as in the sky and like pull Oop. yourself up to the sky to fight those guys. Okay. Well, it takes a little bit of getting used to. And then they'll they'll slowly add more to the game as it goes on. Uh huh. So you'll get more weapons and more abilities to do that'll use like the the right trigger instead of the left trigger and things like that. And this is still in very early access. Um, they they do they did state that a lot of you know a lot of it is still being implemented. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But mostly they're they're really excited that the actual combat they're they're happy with the combat and since it was. You know the combat is in a, 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 a you know for the most part finished state. Right. Uh, that they put it on uh, early access, so it's possible there will be. Uh, I think you had read something that they were it was going to have some type of Metroidvania. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know uh, if that's. I don't know if that's true. I, I seem to remember. No, I think actually I was thinking about a different game oh, okay. when I was talking about that with you. Oh. Damn. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. I'm. I'm getting beat. That. It's. Uh. It's not like kind of immediately apparent when you when you're getting hit. Um, and I think that is something that they are still tweaking and working on. But yeah, you, you're you're low I'm, health. Yeah, I'm about to die. I need to be a little bit more conscientious in my. Oh shit! Oh crap! In my uh, my attacks. How the hell do you get health back? Where's my um, generating health? Been playing Halo all week. I don't. Yeah, that I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm uh -oh. actually not sure where the health. No uh, oh, space lasers! No, I don't want to. Wait, who did he do that? No, well, that did that. Oh, holy shit! It's so uh, it'll, that's gonna allow you to be able to jump on the roof. Is that wait? Is the that the jump. is that the the samurai guy from? Ooh, there we go. Yeah, another weapon. Right trigger. This is gonna be what the heavy, heavy, slow one. Or the long, yeah, the yeah. That's pretty cool. Or more Ooh, of a distance. Ooh, look at that! And then, okay, that doesn't seem to really do anything. Oh, that's a okay. Uh, try not to die. Try not to die. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Let's try. Let's try this again. At least oh, so there's checkpoints. It yeah. does give you back full health, and I do have the this thing still. Oh, cool. I didn't realize it gave you back the... Um, okay, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, I got myself confused with uh, the enemies there for a second. Ah, oh, man. So, you know, oh, shit. What, where was all that coming from? Or, wait, what just, what was what was I seeing there? Oh, I have no idea what that was. I'm starting to get really lost between my guy and these guys and the enemies. Um, well, your guy is shit. the only guy that has red. Yeah. It's just, it's very dark, right? It doesn't really stand out. Like, I yeah. remember one of the things that was so impressive to me about uh, Mark of the Ninja was how the... Art style was used to really convey, um, like, your character as opposed to other characters with kind of the darkness yeah. and light and the way the primary colors were. Is that this is very washed out, so it's a little bit harder to kind of differentiate yeah, immediately. Yeah, that's, that's true. And part of the reason I wanted to play this is because, oh, the, I mean, okay. at least in art style, it kind of reminded me of Mark of the Ninja. Yeah. And I was kind of hoping it would maybe be something not not stealth, stealth thing like that, but right. at, at least, you know... Uh, an, a, an interesting samurai version of a of Mark of the Ninja of a Mark of the Ninja style beat 'em up game, uh, and, and like I said, I really actually enjoyed the the kind of the Devil May Cry uh, combo system or whatever fight system that they've got going on. Right. I mean, right now it's not. Um, I guess it's one of those things where it would be. There we go. This is looking for. Oh, okay. There you go. Boom. You guys not dead yet? You guys not dead yet? Oh, you're dead. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. that was close. All right. No, I think it just took off some health. Uh, yeah, it's it's interesting. Um, they dull out the weapons pretty quickly. Well, and, and, I, and I'm wondering if, because uh, I'm going to be honest, I, I, while, while I've played quite a bit of this game uh, over the last couple of days, I haven't gotten past this opening section. Yeah. 
Um, and by opening section, it goes on much further than where we are uh, right now. Um, yeah. But uh, and I'm wondering if this is maybe meant to be like a tutorial level mm -hmm. where it gives you this stuff all really quickly and then kind of takes it away and then you have to. Oh, like a, an abilities. Yeah, I'm wondering if it does that. And if not, who knows? Uh, maybe it's uh, maybe they got some some other different way to make it more interesting and oh, shit. Uh, not as uh, maybe repetitive. Damn, soul snatcher. <laughs> Hit it. There you go. There we go. Oh. Do that, and then we'll do one of these. I want I want him to be inside of that. <laughs> um, you know, I, I still, one of the things, I mean, a lot of, I've been looking, Steam has started to become really kind of a goddamn wasteland in some cases. Uh-oh, wait, what's this one? You Left trigger a, uh, and right trigger, devastatingly powerful clubs. This so. is the slow and heavy. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Um, and this That's one, now you're going to have to also probably fight him in a second. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm going to go over here. Um... You know, Steam has kind of become a goddamn wasteland in some cases with the amount of things that have been coming out. Yeah. Even with, like, the curator stuff, they've still... It seems like it's been, um, like, it's still kind of difficult in a lot of cases to differentiate the crap from the not crap. Um, but I am glad, no matter what else ever happens in the video game industry, I am glad that uh, um, the indie game community seems like they're the only people that are still really super interested in making side-scrolling yeah. games. And I, I still think that side-scrolling as a uh, as a genre... Watch is, out for his backhand. Oh, way. okay. Is really easy to get into, right? Yeah. It's something that's very easy. Oh, shit. Nope, oh, crap. Nope. Retry. And I didn't have enough health left. Uh, it's really easy to get into. It's really easy to uh, uh, for people to pick up on because um, I think that the complexity can be, uh, can be a little bit more than you'll see in other types of games because the movement is so simple. It's so simple that anybody can kind of understand what it is. Like, I don't remember there being a lot of, or, I mean, there probably are games out there like this, but a lot of side-scrollers seem like they're able to really play around with conceptually what's happening because they don't have to spend as much time making sure the player is able to um, yeah, yeah. It's uh, able to move, you know, effectively. So they can do really innovative things without confusing the hell out of people um no you're totally right i think because they can focus on you don't you only have to focus on going forward or backward up or down and not like you know behind you you know like it, oh, it's shit. not that guy's got a, oh is that guy got a gun he's got a gun he's got a gun he brought a gun to a sword fight because he's a jerk yeah um that's okay you can take him oh yeah i just wonder what this guy back here is doing he's just He's kind of like pelvic thrusting yeah. there, and like laser beams are coming out. Laser pelvis. He's kind of got his laser pelvis thing going on, and uh, I don't know why, really. Like, oh come on! I was right. I got up in his face, and I Watch hit out. him. Uh oh. Nope. Nope. That that backhand takes off a lot of health. It sure does. Nope. It's weird. There's there's some kind of bizarreness to the way that the different attacks flow into each other. Oh yeah. Like they're a little bit stiff in a lot of ways, um, and they don't seem like ridiculously responsive, uh, in a way that I'd kind of be more interested in seeing in a game like this. No. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Not not easy though. Oh man, all the way back here. Here, John. Why don't oh, you take Jesus. it? Why don't you take it? It's all on you now. I'm just gonna sit here and, and jabber jaw. Okay, jabber jaw, my friend. Jabber um, jaw. But, you know, the other thing that I've, I've always felt is, you know, we looked at, uh, what was it, D Dex or... Yeah, 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 Dex. Vex or something like that. No, it was Dex. It was Dex. Um, and I've, I feel like uh, the side-scrolling, like, because you, have, um, because you have that ease of motion, you have a lot more uh, flexibility to be able to essentially, in my opinion at least, do world building. I mean, you look at, like, what uh, Metroid, for example, has done with, like, or even in some cases like Castlevania or Sym Symphony of the Night. Like I don't know about you, but I put Symphony of the Night probably in. I don't know. It may go in the top twenty games I've ever played. That was the wrong thing I needed to click. <laughs> um, and I feel like there aren't that many developers that are using that flexibility. Um, like okay, uh, you know what? Ah. Let me simplify what I'm trying to say here. Okay, 
Is it you want to start switching back and forth? You want to go another go? No, no, I'll give it another, another go. go. Um, where the fuck are all my Metroidvania games? Like the indie Metroidvania games they're putting out, they're some of them are okay, but there's a lot of them that are just kind of like, meh, you know. It's just a little Metroidvania, but it's not really something I'm interested in playing really all that much. Um, and I feel like that's a shame because that's that's a, a it's a system of game creation. It's a type of world building that is that we're all familiar with. So you don't have to come up with anything dramatically new. Um, I just I guess I feel like there should be a lot more Metroidvania style games out there. Um, and I know this isn't exactly one of those, but um, like you know, they did all those all those Castlevania games on the Game Boy and the GBA and the DS. Um, but they haven't really like I would have been more than happy if they just kept making those, right? They yeah. made what three for the GBA and three for the DS. Um, uh, You're not gonna back man hand me this time, sir. And I think I would just much rather have seen more of that type of game. And I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't know why. You know, they continue to make Phoenix Wright games, right? They continue yeah. to make Call of Duty games every year. They continue to make JRPGs and Final Fantasy games and stuff like that. But I don't understand why Castlevania has gone to like the new, wh the ah, I got backhanded. Uh -oh. I'm gonna give it one more try. One then, more man. go. Um, why Castlevania has really kind of embraced the the third person ones, right? Yeah. The, uh, what do they call them? The oh, the Lords the of Shadow. Lord, yeah, the Lords, Lords of, of Shadow the... too. I mean, there wasn't anything wrong with those games, but it's kind of like a lot of times when I see people, when I try talking to some people about Zelda, who they see Zelda as a very specific type of 3D game uh, because they weren't really familiar with like the Super Nintendo or the NES Zeldas. Um, and in some cases, that's dismaying to me because it's like, why can't you guys just make some... Oh, damn, man. Damn, dude. They're up on your shit. Um, some OG-style Zelda games, which is why I was so impressed last year with uh, oh, the, uh, Link Between Worlds. Yeah, Link Between Worlds, yeah. Because they, they just made a goddamn Zelda game, like the one that the kind that I've been looking for for years. Um and it was fun, and it was put together very well. I mean, even Zelda as a formula gets copied all the time, so I wonder why. I wonder why not Metroid. I also kind of wonder, you know, because uh, we can't have a single show on this without me mentioning it at least once. Um, like a 2D Dark Souls style game would probably be something that you could really get a lot of mileage out of if you were smart about your way of making it. I mean, there's nothing inherent to the up kind of upper tier like far away like from a from a distance mechanics of dark souls that wouldn't work in a 2d game right the the world building stuff the item description the difficult but very kind of um fair uh, uh combat systems and inventory mechanics and the complexity it actually seems like it'd be an easy thing to do in a 2D style game. And I know there was, I guess there was a phone game that was kind of like uh, Dark Souls, but it's from a top down perspective hmm. that I got. But my phone's a piece of shit and it doesn't work. Oh, wow. You got it. You got it. You had a tiny sliver left, but you got it. Kind of wish there was a little bit more stuff in the world. I don't know if that's something that happens later, but it seems like. Uh, uh oh. Oh, it's oh, boss time. Oh, crap. Well, that didn't last long. Yeah. All right, since I got to the boss, I'm going to do it one more time. Do one more time. Ouch. Oh, that was... Lasers. I always forget that that dash is there. Oh, the, well, it's on the right bumper, which is a little... I don't know. Understandably. For me, the the putting stuff on the bumper on an Xbox controller, uh, because the bumpers are so much smaller, is a little bit difficult. It's one of the reasons why it took me so long to learn how to play... Uh, Demon Souls with the uh, Xbox controller as opposed to um, why I didn't even want to play it on the PC because I feel like the the larger R1 and ah. R2 buttons. All right, let me take okay, a this, this boss is kind of hard. Yeah, the larger R1 and R2 buttons on the. I'm gonna be honest. Should... I, I fought the boss for it's actually very oh. hard <laughs> for Damn me. Okay. So I need to know this guy's tell for this stuff, and we need to make sure that these assholes don't. Which way are you going? Which way are you going? Okay, now he's about to do a laser beam. 
Oh, so close. I can see what you got to do to avoid that. I just haven't been able to make my brain. Giant club! Club, club, and club! And he closes his, uh, his window. Okay. Then... And he's going to do a laser beam. Oh, there you go. Yep. Club, club, club! Zap your own guys. Zap your own guys. Oh, oh almost. Oh. Did I? Ah, uh, you got hit by a guy right after it hit the, the beam. I had like half you. my health left, though. Yeah, the beam took away half your health is the problem. No, last time I got hit by the beam, it, it was like just a regular hit. I don't understand what just happened there. That doesn't make any sense. It was unfair. The game is a cheater. Uh, worst game of all time. I'm never playing this again. <laughs> <laughs> Some balancing they need to work on. Oh, nope, nope. nope. See, like, look at that. There was a tiny amount of health that got taken off, comparatively. Eat giant club, bitch. Don't close it. What am I supposed to hit if you close your eye? Watch out. He's got a beam first. Yeah. Club, 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 club. Well, now you fight those guys while it's closed. Uh, shit. No! Uh, okay, we're going to go with the long one. Okay, there we go. Zoom. One thing I think they probably will need to do, because, I mean, obviously we haven't seen any of it so far, mm -hmm. uh, is uh, I think what would really work with this game is maybe a, uh, you know, where they drop, like, you know, every so often, like, randomly or something like that, a creature would drop maybe health. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Okay, well, just how about that? How about that? How about spam heavy attack and then you die? And then how about you kill Hookers. those guys? Oh, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did that, did that bullet just home in on me? Because that's garbage. It might have. Ugh. Good job there, Jeff. All right. Woo, woo. Um, is that it? Uh, Arg, gog, 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 gog. Okay. This guy's head is so skinny. Yeah. Well, that monster's blast should have killed me. It did, like four times in a row. What is this energy? I feel as though death has its grip upon me. Okay. Grrr. Okay. It's the I monster's see. bus connected me to the same realm as these corrupted souls. So you're going to try cutting a ghost? Jira can now absorb the twisted souls of his defeated foes, collect the red orbs to regain health. There oh, you go. there you go. There you go. So you, did you get this? No, you, this is I, I never beat that boss. I was actually having trouble figuring out how to dodge those beams. Oh, uh, okay. So you actually have gotten further than I have. Wee! So. Oh, and I can, uh, oh, 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 look at that. Oh, look at oh, that. there's something that's down. Uh, uh, that's, that's, wait, I, there, the, yeah, right there. Okay, there we go. Yep. What? What is that? Dragon, Dragon fragment, fragment said to give increased vitality. So this is the uh, uh, God of War. Collect three of these and your health bar becomes bigger. Ah. Things. Penis enlargement. That's right. The internet. Boy, the internet just is really concerned about my... Press B to use the soul portal. What's down here before we use the soul portal? Is that... Oh, okay. Well, then I get the feeling the soul portal was first. So I wonder if this is the part where all of the complaints about there being an upgrade mechanic... Uh, okay. Katana. So that's basically... Uh, I think... Can you use, like, the... the so I think as you collect souls, you can unlock other moves okay. and combos. I yeah, think. I got a little little Oni uh, yeah, thing down so there. I guess that's the shop, essentially. Okay, well, there uh, you go. Boom. Well, since, since we've now unlocked that. Wee! Whoa. Wee! Also, teleportations. So wait, now that the enemies are going to drop health, does that mean that the shit's going to get even easier? Oh, no! It might. Oot. Yes. Okay, so that's that was a little bit of health, right? Yeah. Wait, what's that? Oh, shit. Slice it. Ah! Slice! Slice and dice. I didn't realize that was what was going on here. Oh, nope. 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 Okay. Uh, that was kind of funny. <laughs> All the nopes. Leslie, nope. I can't. Okay, here we go. Boom. Double jump. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, okay. And then back down here. And now we can double jump. Okay. There you go. There's a little platforming involved. He's a slide animation. Is that oh, a nice. actual thing up here? Okay. What do we got? Boss time! Or... 
Okay. Come on, motherfucker. Are you going to... Uh, you might want to get no, off that. I It wouldn't let me move. I think I was supposed to actually fall down there. Oh. <laughs> I think that was supposed to... My reflexes were too fast. There was a tiny... I think I was supposed to fall down here. Yeah, there was a tiny there was a tiny moment when I was able to screw up the games. Oh, oh, you guys throw bombs. And you don't seem to be really that concerned with my They also seem stick. a little bit more tougher. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Bam! Bam! They still sound like dead dogs, yeah, though. Yeah, that, that's just that, that noise bothers me. Ugh. What's up? What's up? What's up? Here, have a have a one of these. Spin, 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 spin. Have one of these. Boom, 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 boom. Spirit lunch, soul <laughs> snatcher, and then clubs on the ground. Okay, clubs doesn't actually fall all the way down to the ground. What about? Oh shit! How about this one? Boom! There we go. Juggle like you mean it. There you go. Wee boop boop. <clears throat> oh. Nope. Oh, nope, nope. Boom. Okay. Come on. There we go. Bam, 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 bam. Deadly. You know what? It, um, I think the last game that I played like this, and it's a game. Oh, shit. What's the name of it? Grant and I played it on the dojo. Okay. It's the game from the guys who made uh, Xeno Clash, and it was a side scrolling game with a. Uh, procedurally generated it was like a procedurally generated metroidvania right oh okay where you go down in the pit and it was based on this like uh spanish mythology or something oh i have no idea it was really cool um and i really like it was a video that when we oh no way dude i was totally outside of the range of that when we did the video whoop, um it didn't get that many hits um god what the hell was it called though um and I felt really bad because it seemed like a really interesting game. Like it was a, it was a, like I said, procedurally generated Metroidvania with some kind of weird, semi Diablo style loot system. Really, that actually sounds really cool. Very, uh, very intricate and specific art style, like a very unique art style. Uh, it had this like really weird system where when you died, um, a, an NPC soldier that was not as powerful as your character would take over and then if you could get back to the the place where um the checkpoint the last checkpoint that you hit then you could come back to life and um it was a really cool game and i don't feel like anybody really paid any attention to it yeah oh. um it was just it was very unique i'm a big fan of of when developers try crazy new stuff okay yeah, you just kind of ignoring i'm, I'm actually kind of curious on what game you're talking about because that actually sounds really cool I'll 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 figure it out for you. Tony. You'll just have to watch Rage Select. Oh come oh, no. on, Dick, garbage, Dick garbage. And we're all the way back here. Yeah, I wish the the dash was in a slightly different place. No, dude. I also don't like how um, uh, the enemies really will ignore anything but the heaviest of attacks. These look like Freddy heads. <laughs> yeah, they kind of do. Damn, man. Fine. Here, have some hell rupture. No, wait. What the fuck? Where did that come from? Okay, so you just need to get everybody up in the air before you start hitting them. Up. Oh. And attack. Okay. There's this next one that killed me, right? Yeah. Okay. Get up in the air. You're up in the air. I'm up in the air. We're all up in the air. Nope. Nope. Yep. He did hit me. He hit me, too. I Yeah, I think that there needs to be some more, um, I don't know, maybe some more wind-up on these guys just so that it doesn't feel like you're getting hit out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't know that I'm, like, really... It seems like I look up sometimes, and I've got so much health gone, and I'm just like, well, what, what the hell did that happen? No, no! Oh, god damn. And where did that other one, Freddy Head, come... God damn it! 
All right, one more shot, and then it's over to you. Oh, motherfuckers. Challenging. I like. Yeah, the, I like it's, the, it's a game that's challenging. It reminds me of, um, like, you know what it kind of seems like is if uh, Ninja Gaiden had remained a franchise. Oh, yeah, that yeah. It would maybe be something like you would see out of a new Ninja Gaiden at the, um, the challenge level that they're looking at. Nope, 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 nope. That was nice. That looked pretty. Ugh. But yeah, like, like I said, I, I I don't know. I saw it and I was like, huh, this looks like an interesting game and played it. And I was like, ooh, this is probably we're going to play for, for a super awesome video game show. And they had a, a version of it that you could buy and get like an art, an, a digital art book and also like the soundtrack. Mm. And it also comes with an extra copy of the game that you can gift to someone. Oh, is that, that's a thing you give yeah, to Yeah, and it's like me. five bucks more yeah. than what you would normally pay. And they had it for 50% off the day it came out, so. Ugh. Which I thought for, for like, 10 bucks and you get all that, that's more than worth the price of admission. Was I that think. all it was? Yeah. Wow. Well, because the, 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 I think the, the total price for just the regular version without the extra game is, is 10 bucks, but uh -huh. it was on sale for 50% off, so. I think so, the, the version to get, like, the soundtrack and the, uh, and the art book is, like, Fifteen dollars normally. Okay. I don't know. It seemed like a good price. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Boom. You played baseball with that thing. Nope. Get over on him. There we go. Nope. Oh God. That's the thing. I guess is uh, I'm, I'm really. I always have a hard time, John, with games where the enemies don't react to your hits. Oh yeah. Where the enemies get to essentially just shrug your your hits off. Um, I always have problems with that because there's that visual representation that they're getting hit. I oh, think, there's oh, yep. there's there's one down there. Yep, I'm trying to get Actually, back down there. Yeah. Uh, Ninja Gaiden Yaiba actually ended up for me an awful lot like that. Okay, so is there a way on I don't top think of? You can, I don't think. You don't go at it from this side. Yeah. You gotta I don't, go at it from the other side. Like you go all might the way to the have top. to. Yeah, you might have to go at it from the other side because I don't think you can get on that building because it's kind of. Let's see. Can we get up to the oop, get up to the top of this building? Yes, you can. Uh, You're going to have to fight some guys. Yep. Oop. No way. Watch what? Out. No yeah, that way. That was garbage. There that was, was total that garbage. Was stuck there. Yep, total garbage. And that was total garbage as well. Anytime I get hit, John, it's total garbage. I don't know I, if you've I, seen Well, I realize game. that. Yeah. That's the way that it works. And then... Ugh. How about some of these? Uh, seems like being up in the air is not a bad place to be. Uh-oh. This downward swipe seems to be pretty decent. Oh! Fuck, come on! All right, it's all you now. Okay. Ah, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Well, before I go up there, I just want to see what's over this way. What's oh, that? Power for upgrading, apparently. Oh, well, there you go. I'm, all, I'm My sense of, you know, that thing where it's like you're trying to go in the direction where the game is not telling you to go so you can pick up all the special stuff. My sense of that is awful. It's just terrible. I don't know. Yeah, there's a... Um, there's a good amount of kind of flexibility to the combat. I think that it could be the sort of thing that um, I think they need to really start introducing more enemy types uh, because if they just stick with these standard types, yeah, it could get pretty re repetitious. Like once you kind of learn the strategies for dealing with basically as many of these assholes as they throw at you, it seems like it could become very. No, look, look out! Look out! Oh. Uh, it could be get really, um, really repetitive in a hurry. Oof. Let's get rid of you. Ah! Yep. It's kind of one of those games where the moment that you stop moving, you're in trouble. It's also a little, um, it's a little brain racking to me. Whoa! Having to come up with, or having to keep in mind all four of the different yeah. Uh, modifiers. Like, I feel like um, they should have maybe started with, like, two modifiers for a yeah. while, right? To get you into 
get you into the hat and the, the, the swing of things. Or maybe even three, but it's just that fourth is a little much. Um, yeah, no, I can totally agree with that. It is a little bit, you know, learning to switch between them. Actually, can I go forward without actually going up? No, I have to go forward. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, oh. secrets. Special secrets. It's also, I got to say, um, I'm not super impressed with the detail level of the environments that I'm seeing here. Um, they're very kind of generic, especially as opposed to how um, how detailed the foreground stuff is. Oh, shit, all the way back here. All the wow. way back here, wow. Um, especially as how like the style of the individual characters and then the background style don't entirely seem to line up in my brain. Okay. Um, because the background style, like the foreground characters have that really heavy noir kind of thing going on with them. Um, like real heavy blacks, real heavy shadows. And the background is much more kind of um, just basic. Uh, so, because I know all developers listen to yeah. the, our show. Actually, I think only the Road Rage. or Guys who's actually it? watched our, yeah, yeah, the Road Redemption. Uh, the Road Redemption. I think they're the only ones who actually watch it, which is actually on Steam now. Have you checked that out? Yeah, since? yeah. It's actually a lot of fun. They've actually done a lot of uh, updates to that. Really? Maybe since we'll have to go back and check it out one of these days. Um, yeah, I think out of all the games we've played, the two games that I've, I've been like keeping up with the most mm -hmm. uh, are, are Road Redemption and uh, uh, Hand of Fate. How's Hand of Fate going? Hand of Fate is really good. They keep like doing major overhauls to the uh, to part of the game, but uh, but when I say major overhauls, it's more just in the design. Whoa, or... whoa, whoa. Oh. Okay. That's a bug. You guys need to fix that shit. Because, yeah, I just, because I got it the last time. <laughs> right. So well, it gave it to me again. Unfortunately, John, we are over time. Oh, we are over time now. Yeah, oh. so we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Folks, this has been the Super Awesome Video Game Show. Uh, we don't normally, not normally able to put links down in the, um, in the thing below for these games because they're usually in early access. But uh, the one thing that I do like to ask of folks is to uh, kind of tell us what you'd be interested in actually seeing on the show because... Um, there's never uh, uh, there's never a shortage of games out there on Steam, and I know we had a couple of suggestions last week for um, uh, there was this multiplayer shark game oh, that's death. out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm thinking that we might save that for like a, a streaming Sunday or something like that. Um, but yeah, if you want to take a look, I think the easiest thing to do is take a look at the early access that's out there and see what stuff you guys might be interested in. So I know that there are some people out there that are actually using this show as a way to gauge kind of what they're what they're going to get. Um, so if that's the case, I'd like to you know if you're curious about something. Um, oh, and that just drops me back down here. Uh, yeah, I am the dumb. Also, uh, like and subscribe YouTube. You know, why this is your ad blocker? I mean, you know, normal stuff. Um, let us know how we're doing. Let us know if there's stuff that you want to see. Um, if that thing is, I want the words back in the intro. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, and outside of that, I don't know. This seems pretty cool. What was this called again? It's Animusha? called Onikara. Onimusha. Onikara. Look for Onimusha. I'm sure there won't be any problem. There's going to be, able be a to ton find of problems it. with that. You'll be able to find it just fine. Look for John Renault. Whoa! What, the, what just happened? What's going on? I'm freaking out, bro. Uh, okay. I died because of fire. Okay. Well, don't get fired this time. And we'll see you all next week on the Super Awesome Video Game Show. Shoo.